Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Yeah, it's back for the next section of my complete physical media collection. We've done the Blu-rays A to Z, which took forever. Uh, for this one, I figured I'm just going to do it all in one. Yeah, uh, it might take an hour, it might take an hour and a half. Who cares? Yeah, so this is going to be my complete Amore 4K collection. Now, I do have some Amores that are in other collections, such as Disney ones and Star Trek ones. So they won't be included in these. They will be in separate videos. So you'll see like Pixar Amores in the Pixar collection later on. This is just the standard 4Ks that don't have any big franchises or anything like that. Right, okay, so I'm just looking at five shelves worth, so we better get started. Okay, so of course, we are going in alphabetical order, and we are starting with Ad Astra. Yes, with Brad Pitt. This was a really good film. I really enjoyed this. Tommy Lee Jones was good. It had a very kind of slower space feel to it than maybe you know something a bit more exciting but I love the mystery about it and also the moon scenes as well and that uh, moon buggy chase across the moon yeah it's really good I really did enjoy that uh, next up we have get off my plane <laughs> yes we have Harrison Ford in Air Force One uh, this is an American release because we don't have it over here. Um, I've been trying to get the steel book. I really like the artwork on the steel book. But uh, I didn't want to import one because of the possibility of getting it damaged, you know, through eBay or through Amazon. So I might hope that one day we'll get one over here. But yeah, really good film. Fantastic. Uh, great action. It Basically, it's Die Hard on Air Force One. Yeah, and Gary Oldman, fantastic Russian villain on this as well. Okay, we're in diving into Alien territory, and we have Alien. Yes, this is the original film. What version is it? It's the 40th anniversary. Fantastic picture quality. What can I say about Alien? It's Alien. It's Sigourney Weaver. Oh, it's just Alien. <laughs> yeah, and I'm looking forward to actually adding Aliens, the 4K, to the collection so i better leave a gap uh in the uh the shelf because that's coming soon yeah excellent uh, another uh, alien one now uh, we have alien covenant on 4k and yes it does come with a slip cover uh, originally i bought it without the slip cover but uh somebody uh very kindly sent me the slip cover for it oh how many times am i going to say slip cover in this video <laughs> you better start counting Yes, uh, this is an okay film. I prefer Prometheus. Um, it's a bit weird in place, especially the flute. <laughs> Lots of fingering going on. Yes, and blowing. <laughs> yes, but it is a bit weird. But it's a shame Ridley Scott never got to finish the Alien prequel story. You know, because uh, I, I believe this is probably supposed to be film number two. You know, Prometheus this then another one then it would lead into alien but hey there you go it's got its moments it's got its moments what we got now what we got now we have almost famous yes um this is about a young kid that is in, getting into like rolling stone magazine and he's writing and he goes on the tour with this fictitious band uh, I actually quite enjoyed it. It's by director Cameron Crowe. So, yeah, I actually enjoyed it. And uh, typical like 70s band look. Yes. That is Earl, isn't it? I believe that is... My name is Earl. I'm pretty sure that is. Um, Jason Lee. I think so. I think so. I'm sure someone will correct me down in the comments. But anyway, I did enjoy that film, yeah. Uh, next up, we have a Michael Bay film and Ambulance. Uh, a bit of a fun action film using lots of drones and explosions. It's Michael Bay. It's Michael Bay. 
what it's explosions <laughs> that should be his name michael explosion bay <laughs> okay next up uh we have a ron howard film with tom hanks and this is angels and demons uh this is the second of the uh the films uh who was the writer now uh, it was robert langdon wasn't it the character um and it's written by i'm trying to write, find it here uh uh, it's never around when you won it, is it? Dan Brown, that's it. The author Dan Brown. So he did all the others, uh, Da Vinci Code, um, and the one with Ewan McGregor, which I forgot. But we'll get to it anyway. But anyway, that's Angels and Demons. Or maybe that is the one. This is the one with Ewan McGregor. Yeah, this is the one. I'm thinking of Felicity... Yeah, we'll get to it. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get to it at one point. Uh, next up, we have Anna. Uh, this is a bit of a fun action film. It's a bit like Atomic Blonde uh, from the director of Lucy and Leon. Uh, also has uh, Killian Murphy and Helen Mirren and Luke Evans. So, uh, yeah, I think it needs a rewatch. But uh, it was a bit of a fun film from what I remember. A uh, very underrated film now. We have Natalie Portman in Annihilation. Yeah, this reminded me of that Stephen King story, The the Dome, uh, where they find this dome and it's got all sorts of weird creatures and in, inside and there's like time distortions and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and um, I remember the ending with that lighthouse and really creepy, very creepy. Really gorgeous to look at, though. And I definitely had to get the 4K for that. I had to import it. Uh, next up, we have a bit of space. Yes, we have Apollo 13. Now, I do also have the Film Vault series for Apollo 13, but I didn't want to get rid of this because I love the slipcover and it is super glossy. Yes. They're holding on to another copy just for the slipcover. <laughs> I can just see the comments now. <laughs> yes, uh, I love this film. This is a fantastic film. Uh, this is one of um, Von Howard's best. Awesome. Uh, next up, we have Apocalypse Now. Yeah, this is the final cut. I have seen this film. I did enjoy it. Um, it's it's just a great war film. Just a great war film. Next up, we have Arrival. Yes, Denis Villeneuve. I can never pronounce his name. Yeah. Um... Yes, from the uh, the creator of, you know, uh, um, Dune, you know, the, the, the director of the new Dune films. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got a slipcover for this one. So, uh, yeah, I've hunted around to try and find a slipcover for it. But I think that's about, must be about 10 times I've mentioned slipcover. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I wish I had a slipcover for it. So if anybody's got a, f a spare a rival 4K slipcover, send it this way. <laughs> Okay, so next up we have Avatar, The Way of Water. Uh, I'll probably be getting rid of this soon uh, because the limited edition's coming out. You know, the collector's edition uh, with Dolby Vision and everything. So that's coming out at the end of the month. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably, even though it's, it's a different cover, I'll get rid of that one. What we got next? Next up we have Babylon 5. Yes, this is The Road Home, an original movie, and it's the an animated kind of sequel, I believe. Um, it was okay. It was okay. <sighs> Sometimes when you go from live action to animation, it's a bit tricky. Um, I mean, it worked really well with Star Trek, the original series, but... So many of the cast have actually passed away that you're just missing that element. You're just missing those familiar, you know, those familiar vibes. But uh, it was OK. Um, it the, the only thing that let it down is the animation, because it makes it look like that. That's what the characters look like. They bear no resemblance to it. Nothing at all. If they'd been like that, proper CGI like that, I think it would have been a lot better. Yeah, it's just very basic animation yeah it was still okay uh next up we have another ron howard film uh we have backdraft yes with kurt russell and flames <laughs> a great film there is a backdraft too uh but don't bother yeah 
Uh, and then we have a bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do when they come for you? Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, Martin Lewis and Will Smith. This is the first film. Uh, I believe they've just finished filming the fourth film. Flipping Norma. They've just finished filming the fourth film. <laughs> yes. So uh, I look forward to that. But I don't know if a fourth film is necessary. Um, I mean, the third one was good. You know, it's better than it should have been. But uh, that's the first one. Then, of course, we have Bad Boys 2. And then Bad Boys for Life, which I do like the cover on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this should... Th this is actually better than it should have been. You know, normally if you've had such a big gap. I mean, what was the gap between two and three? Uh, number two came out in 2003. Uh, and then three came out in 2020. So what are, you talk what are you talking, 17 years between films? Yeah, normally when there's that much of a gap, it shouldn't really work. But uh, yeah, they did really well with that. So I've got high hopes for the fourth film. Next up, we have some pink action. Yes, we have Barbie. Yes. Um, I know that there are some people out there that refuse to watch Barbie. Don't want to watch Barbie. Um, yeah. Okay, that's fine. But you're missing out on a treat. Um, the whole Barbie, Barbenheimer thing it's kind of the, the opposite side you know Oppenheimer was all about doom and gloom and destruction this is just pink frilly fun <laughs> I'm just Ken <laughs> yes and um it's just it's just great I can't say anything it looks fantastic in 4k the songs are catchy and Margot Robbie is incredible as Barbie so yeah um i I'm a fan of Barbie. What can I say? I love Barbie. Yes. Okay, next up, uh, we have a very underrated alien war film kind of thing. Yeah, Battleship. Th with Liam Neeson's in this as well. This was good. This is like based on the board game. <laughs> D2. You sank my battleship. <laughs> yeah, uh, a little bit more sophisticated with the aliens. Uh, but uh, I thought it was a really fun film. What we got next? Next up, we have Michael Keaton in Beetlejuice. Yeah, it's the first film. It's classic. It's just classic. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to the new film, which is, I believe is called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah. I wonder how long it took that to think up. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm really looking forward Really looking forward to the new one. Uh, next up, we have another, well, a Tim Burton film here. Yeah, we have Big Fish. Uh, I haven't seen this in ages, a very long time. Uh, so it definitely needs a rewatch, Ewan McGregor. Uh, this is a US import uh, and it comes with a slipcover. Yeah, it's. I, I believe it is available in the UK, but I didn't want to buy the UK one because it didn't come with a slipcover. Yeah, I'm all for slipcovers, you know that. I'm a slipaholic. Oh, do you know what? That's a good tagline for a T-shirt. I'm a slipaholic. I might patent that. <laughs> OK, what we got next? Uh, we have Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah, uh, I don't think they released Bogus Journey on 4K in the UK. Um, and I don't think I bothered buying any more. I didn't even bought, buy the the third one. I think it's the third one. I bought that on Blu-ray. Yeah, because the we we were missing the second one, I believe. Anyway, this is the original. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I like it. Uh, next up, we have some Wesley Snipes Blade. Yep, the first Blade, the best Blade. And uh, still looking forward to the new one with, is it Maharal, Maharala, Ashi, uh, uh, Maharala Ali? I can never get his name right, uh, if we ever get it. But um, I hope Wesley Snipes has a little bit of a ca cameo in it. But uh, it's a great film. Very bloody. Uh, now we got some uh, planet action. Yes, <laughs> we have 
Blue Planet 2 with David Attenborough. Yes, or Sir David Attenborough, we should call him. Yes, this looks fantastic in 4K. Uh, it's all like the deep and coral reefs and coasts. It just, that's the only reason, the two reasons why you buy these kind of blue planets, you know, to put on your OLED and to view a spectacular 4K crispy picture um, and Sir David Attenborough. That's the only two reasons fantastic right okay that's one little stack done so let's move on to the next okay and we have Dale. Dale. bohemian rhapsody <laughs> yes queen uh rami malek uh this was fantastic experience the full live aid film performance not seen yeah it's the special features uh, it's got an extended bit, an extended cut of about 30 minutes of all the songs. Some of the songs you don't get in the film, uh, they put it in the special features. And they just pulled, they pulled it right off. It was probably one of the best um, biopics. You know, it's not entirely about the band and the music. You know, it's about the characters as well. And it's about Freddie. But I still think it's a absolutely fantastic film what can i say what we got next uh we have anti superman that's right we have brightburn uh this was a really good film um yeah this kind of shows you what would happen if clark kent had been brought up like zod <laughs> the other side yeah the evil side yeah really good I wish there'd been a sequel to it. And next up we have Candyman. Yes, this is the remake. Um, Jordan Peele, producer Jordan Peele, includes never before seen alternate ending. I haven't seen it yet. I've seen the original with Tony Todd, but I have not seen this one. So uh, I need to get on that at some point. Uh, next up we have Daniel Craig in the best James Bond film of all time. Um, obviously, it, it's different for different people. Uh, but this is, I believe, this is the best James Bond film of all time. For me, anyway. Yeah, fantastic film. What we got next? Next up, we have Stephen King's Cat's Eye. This is a nice little film. It's, it's, it reminded me a bit of the Twilight Zone movies because, you know, you had like three or four different individual stories thrown in there. So, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. And Drew Barrymore's in it as well. And James Woods. And uh, next up we have from the director of District 9, Chappie. I, I can't believe I still haven't seen this film yet. I, I have the still book as well as the 4K Amore. And I have still not seen it. What's next? Uh, next we have Charlie's Angels. Uh, this is the new version with Kristen Stewart. Um, it was okay. Um, I mean, nothing is going to take away from the original Charlie's Angels. Nothing's going to take away from the, the films with, you know, Drew Barrymore and that. And uh, Cameron Diaz, wasn't it, I believe? And Lucy Liu, I think. Uh, but uh, it's okay. It is what it is. Uh, next up, we have uh, Harrison Ford, Clear and Present Danger. This was fantastic. Um, oh, what's the name of the author? The Jack Ryan series. Um, I can't remember the name of the author of this one. Yeah, I can't remember. Anyway, it's a great film. It's a great film. Willem Dafoe's in there as well. Uh, Cliffhanger. Sylvester Stallone. Uh, very good film. Uh, John Lithgow. Brilliant villain in this. Great action. Especially that opening scene hanging on. Oh, crap. If that had been in 3D. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Cocaine Bear. Yes. Uh, this is a fun film. The Maximum Rampage Edition. And uh, after this film came out, a few other kind of like spin-offs started showing up, like Cocaine Shark, Cocaine Dinosaur, 
cocaine butterfly <laughs> that kind of crap but uh this is a very fun film very fun film uh collateral with um tom cruise and jamie fox uh basically about a taxi driver you know that takes on tom cruise's villainous character and uh yeah good i just realized i still got the sticker on the back <laughs> i have to take that off uh one that i recently bought about a week or so ago uh contagion yeah uh, if you haven't seen this then watch it and then you'll understand how kind of like covid is similar to it in a way Obviously, if you don't want to be reminded of the COVID years, don't bother watching it. Uh, next up, we have a bit of uh, to the uh, to the centre of the plant, centre of the planet. Yes, uh, we have the core. Uh, it's a fun disaster movie. You know, it's not up there with Deep Impact, Dante's Peak, Armageddon, and all that. It's still it's still a good one though. It's still a good one. Uh, a good fun one. Fun one. Uh, next up we have Crawl, which first time I saw this at the cinema, I thought it was just okay. Uh, but uh, the more times I've watched it, I've enjoyed it more and more. So, uh, yeah, I thought it's really good. Really good. And next up we have, in, opin in my opinion, the greatest Christmas film of all time. It's not Die Hard. It is... National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This is a staple every year, without fail, Christmas morning, for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Oh, it's getting a bit of a stretch now, so because uh, I need to stretch over the other side. Okay, what we got now? Cutthroat Island. This is fun. And the 4K quality on this was really good. Uh, and the audio was fantastic when the boat exploded at the end. Yeah, Gina Davis and uh, Matthew Modine, Frank Langella as the uh, the villain. It's a pre-Pirates of the Caribbean adventure. Yeah, really good. I do like it. I like it. Uh, next up, we have The Dark Crystal, which I really enjoy. Uh, Jim Henson. Uh, I've only just recently watched this. I believe this was part of the... Uh, what flick will poorly pick and uh, it's been a while since I've seen it and I really enjoyed it I just need to watch that series that the um is it the prequel prequel tv series uh, next up we have some Gary Oldman in Darkest Hour uh, Winston Churchill fantastic you would never know this was Gary Oldman he was amazing in it uh, I believe he got I think he got an Oscar uh, either supporting actor or, or or lead actor i can't quite remember which which oscars it was uh, next up we have another underrated film which is a bit of fun the dark tower yeah with uh idris elba and matthew mcconaughey yeah very underrated oh dear uh tom cruise back again in days of thunder Don Simpson and Jerry uh, Bruckheimer production. This is all about like speedway racing, you know, like NASCAR. Yeah, um, I think I've only ever seen this once. Uh, back when it kind of like first came out. Okay, uh, going on from the one that we were talking about earlier on. Um, the Dan Brown series, The Da Vinci Code. Yeah, Da Vinci Code. Really good film. Yeah, Tom Hanks is fantastic. Ian McKellen, Jean Reno. That's great. We'll, we will get to the third one because um, it will be amongst the 4Ks here. Uh, next up, we have Robert De Niro in uh, The Deer Hunter, uh, which was a good film. Really good film. OK, I've got two more. Um, and then I shall have to go and put these back and then get the next batch. Uh, we Now we do have one of the best disaster films uh, of, the, of the 90s. 
yes, Deep Impact uh, with Morgan Freeman, uh, Taylor Leone, Elijah Wood. Uh, basically about, a you know, a meteor or an asteroid that's going to just kill everybody. Great film. Uh, and we have the second greatest Christmas film of all time. <laughs> Die Hard. <laughs> yeah, um, you can't say anything else about this, can you? This is this is what started it all. This is what started every Die Hard on a series, whether it's Die Hard on a plane, Die Hard in a toilet, Die Hard in HMV. It all started with Die Hard. Yeah, fantastic. Right, OK, so let's move on to shelf two. OK, so now on to shelf two. So let's start with Dr. Sleep. Yes, Ewan McGregor, uh, the sequel to The Shining. I thought it was really good, really good. This also includes the director's cut on Blu-ray. Yeah, very good film. And we have Robert Downey Jr. in Dr. Doolittle. Haven't heard very good things about this film. I have not seen it yet. Um, he, I mean, Robert Downey Jr. was coming off of like, what, 10, 11 years on the MCU. So I don't know. I will give that one a go. I might love it. Who knows? Uh, next up, we have Val Kilmer in the final cut of The Doors. Yes, the uh, biopic of Van Mott. Van Morrison. <laughs> oh dear me. Jim Morrison. <laughs> Jim Morrison, not Van Morrison. That's completely someone else. Yes. Um includes four collector, four collectors disc edition, yeah. Um I might have I don't even know if I've seen it. I might have seen it back in the day, I can't remember. Uh next up we have don't Breathe 2. Uh, the first film was fantastic. This film was okay. I didn't mind it, actually. Uh, it's a shame it didn't come with a slipcover, though. Yeah, this one actually made him out to be the hero, though. Whereas in the first film, uh, he was kind of the villain. Uh, next up, we have Don't Worry, Darling. Yes. Um, films I still have not seen. Florence Pugh and Harry Styles, great cast, Gemma Chan, Olivia Wilde, uh, Chris Pine, um, still has the sticker on the back there, yeah, still haven't seen it yet. Uh, and then we have Double Jeopardy with Tommy Lee Jones and Ashley Judd. This was a really good film, um, been a while since I've seen it and I just recently watched it in the last, well since it came out, 4K picture quality is fantastic. Definitely advise getting that one. Now we have Bram Stoker's Dracula with Gary Oldman. Again, a great film, great cast. Winona Ryder, Gary Oldman, fantastic. Uh, we have the 4K for Dracula Untold, which I have not seen this film. Um, is this Luke Evans? This is Luke Evans, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I must watch that. Uh, what have we got next? We have got... Uh, we've got Drive. Yes, we've got Mark Dacascus in and Drive. Uh, I'm not sure why I bought this. It's not my usual type of thing to buy. But maybe I watched the trailer and it looked really good. I can't remember. I actually can't remember why I bought it. But uh, I'll, hopefully I'll get around to watching it one day. Uh, next up we have some uh, Aardman animation. Early Man. Uh, this was good. This was a fun film. Not as good as the Wallace and Gromit films. Still a good film though. Uh, we have Elf. Another staple every year at Christmas. Santa. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant film. Brilliant film. One of Claire's favourite films as well. Uh, next up we have Matt Damon. Yep, in Elysium. Yeah, another one without a slipcover. Can't be having these 4Ks without slipcovers, man. Something's definitely wrong somewhere. 
yeah i think i might have to get a couple made up through um through ebay yeah it was a good uh kind of sci-fi film that was uh and we have ender's game as well i have lots in this one harrison ford ben kingsley uh looks fun looks like a kind of a, a fun space film And we have uh, Everest. Great film. Will make you feel cold. Yeah. Still on the hunt for a slipcover for this one. Uh, but uh, yeah. Good film. Uh, next up we have Everything Everywhere All at Once. Okay. This is not a. This is not an Amaray case. This is actually a German digibook. But I figured I'll put it in with the, with the regular 4Ks. Yeah. I was thinking of getting rid of it um, because I have the still book now, but it's a very nice addition. So I figured I'd just keep it. Fantastic film as well. Yeah. Uh, and a bit of advice. Uh, don't go for the French edition uh, because it doesn't have English subtitles for the, the Chinese or the Mandarin subtitles, you know, language bits. Go for the German edition. Next up, we have uh, the Expendables. This is the uh, Expendables uh, Uncut Edition. This is the one that I found in the Demelza charity shop for three quid, I think it was. Yeah, my best 4K find, I think. Uh, and next up, we have uh, the Expendables 4 or Expend 4 Balls. Um, it was okay. Uh, not brilliant, but it was okay. But it was missing a lot of the good stuff that made the other films. And uh, now we have The Exorcist Believer. I'm a believer. Yes, this is like the sequel to the original Exorcist. I believe it has the same woman in it. Uh, Ellen Burstyn. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I need to watch that one. Definitely. I might keep that one for October. Uh, next up, we have uh, a film directed by Steven Spielberg and I watched at the cinema. This is The Fablemans. Really good film. Kind of uh, about Steven Spielberg's upbringing. But it's not really Spielberg, you know, but it's kind of like based on him. And uh, now we have The Fantastic Beasts and uh, Where to Find Them. Brilliant film. A brilliant prequel to uh, the Harry Potter films. This is the best one. This is definitely the best one. Uh, but I do have uh, Grindelwald. Yes, uh, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Still a good film, really good film. Johnny Depp, fantastic in this. Absolutely. And then we have Fatal Attraction. Glenn Close uh, and uh, Michael Douglas. Great film. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, <laughs> really good film. Uh, kind of a, a, a rebellious teen angst type of film. Tom Cruise is back. Yes, he is. Uh, he's back in the firm. I don't know what he's doing in the firm. But yeah, really good film. What we got next? We have Forrest Gump. Yes, we have Forrest Gump there. No slipcover for this one, unfortunately. Uh, we didn't get one in the UK. Uh, but I do also have the steel book for this. This is fantastic. I did have the original book as well, or the sequel book, Gump and Co., I think it was called. Thought always thought they were going to make a film out of it, but uh, unfortunately not. But uh, a great film. Great performance as well. Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds and Jodie Comer. Um... I, this definitely does need a rewatch because I just found it okay. Uh, the Fugitive, Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones, brilliant film, cat and mouse chase type of thing, uh, based on the original TV series starring David Jansen. Uh, yeah, it's a great film and uh, fantastic 4K pitch quality as well. Fury with Brad Pitt. A great uh, Second World War film about tanks. And uh, we have The Gentleman, a Guy Ritchie film. 
uh, Matthew McConaughey and Hugh Grant was brilliant in this. Uh, I believe they've just made this into a TV series. So uh, I need to check out the TV series. Uh, I need to get slipcover for that one as well. Uh, and then we have Jordan Peele's Get Out, his first film. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, I wouldn't say Get Out. I would say Get This. Get the book. Get the 4K. Yeah. Great quality as well. Well, that one should be before that one. Okay. Uh, and then we have who you're going to call. That's right. Ghostbusters, of course. What can I say about Ghostbusters? Classic 80s stuff. And we also have Ghostbusters 2 as well. I love that film as well. Uh, next up, we have Ghost in the Shell. Yep, with Scarlett Johansson. Um, nice slip cover there I found in, a, I believe, a charity shop. Was it? No, it wasn't a charity shop. I think it was CEX. The only trouble is I can't get that off. I've tried to get that off, but it won't come off. And I don't want to use any like cigarette lighter fluid or anything on a slip cover. In, in case it takes the uh, metallic feel off to it. Uh, next up, we have Godzilla. 1998 Roland Emmerich film. This is a fun film. Very fun. And a uh, great cast, Matthew Broderick. Uh, next up, we have a bit more of Matt Damon in The Great Wall. Yes, um, also he's got uh, The Mandalorian. There he is, right on the edge there. And Willem Dafoe as well. Yeah, it's a great film. Very colourful, very adventurous. Uh, looks great in 3D. The 3D version looks great as well. Okay. Um, next, we, in my opinion, we have the greatest music, musical of all time, Greece. Yes, this is a classic from the 70s. Foot tapping. Uh, I mean, if you listen to the lyrics now, yeah, it's a bit rapey, <laughs> but it's still a great film. And they were all in their 30s, but act, you know, pretending to be in their about 17. Uh, and now the second greatest musical of all time, The Greatest Showman. Uh, this is fantastic. The amount of times I've lis listened to the soundtrack to this, can't, I can't, I can't think. So many times. Fantastic songs. Great story. Greenland. Yes, Gerard Butler. Disaster film about the end of the world again. When is it not about the end of the world? Uh, yeah, uh, this is German release. Uh, I do also have the Steelbook. And uh, there's also Greenland 2 coming, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, next up, we have uh, the original Halloween film. Yeah, Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, and this one also includes art cards and a nice slip colour. Yes, that's the original. That's the original. Uh, Hancock with... <laughs> pardon with will smith and charlize theron and jason bateman yeah it's a great i wouldn't say it's an, an anti-super well it is kind of an anti-superhero film because it's not really anti is it it's kind of it's just a superhero that don't give a shit really <laughs> they couldn't care less <laughs> yeah and uh, next up we have heat from michael mann uh i think this is probably the only michael mann film that i really like yeah uh that shootout Wow, on four, especially on 4K. Uh, and then we have The Hitman's Bodyguard, uh, Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds. Great fun comedy action film. Brilliant. And then we have the sequel, The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Yeah, with um, Morgan Freeman and we also have Penelope Cruz there and Antonio Banderas. Yeah, um, I would say that's about as as equal as the first film. I had fun with both of those, definitely. Uh, Home Alone, the original. Uh, again, another Christmas staple to watch. Fantastic film. Oop. The Hunt for Red October with Sean Connery and Alec Baldwin. Uh, the first of the Jack Ryan series was set aboard a submarine. Brilliant film. Uh, Steven Spielberg's Hook, still classed as a, a, a very underrated film. 
um, very fantastical, fantastical, I think. Yeah, uh, Dustin Hoffman, Julia Roberts, classic, fantastic film. Uh, then we have Inception, uh, obviously Christopher Nolan's Mind Bender. Uh, but the more times you watch it, the more you understand it. The same as Tenet. Yeah, although I've seen Tenet quite a few times and I still haven't got a clue what it's about. <laughs> but there you go. That's Inception. Uh, and the last one on this shelf uh, is Independence Day. Uh, I think num the number one alien inv invasion movie of all time. Fun film, fantastic music, great special effects. Chemistry is incredible. The ending is air punching. Uh, it's just the greatest science fiction disaster movie of all time. Yeah. Shame about the sequel. OK, let's move on to the next shelf. OK, so on to the next shelf. Uh, we will begin <laughs> with... Independence Day Resurgence, or Regurgence, as I like to call it. Yeah, there was so much potential for this film. Uh, they brought back a lot of the cast, including Jeff Goldblum. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't quite work. It's still an okay science fiction film, but in no way does it match the excitement of the first film. Actually, it's quite a disappointment. I never thought I'd say, my, say that to myself. Can't match the first film. Yep. Uh, this is the third one that I was talking about earlier on. It's Inferno with uh, Tom Hanks and Felicity Jones. That's who I was thinking of. Yes. Yeah. Uh, great film. I enjoyed that one. Uh, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Yes. Uh, In the Line of Fire. Good film about uh, protecting the president. Uh, we have The Italian Job with Mark Wahlberg and Charlize Theron and Jason Statham with a bit of hair down there. Yeah, not as good as the first film, you know, the original film, but uh, still a fun film. Can you imagine if they remade that now? They'd have to use electric minis. <laughs> that wouldn't go too well, would it? Yeah, uh, now, in my opinion, we have the second best Christopher Nolan film of all time. Yes, Interstellar. This is a fantastic film. It's just totally mind-blowing. It's on a level of 2001, I think. Um, even though I haven't seen 2001. From what I understand, anyway. Yes. Brilliant film. Okay, next up we have Elizabeth Moss in The Invisible Man. And I really had fun with this. Kind of threw a new spin on the Invisible Man story. I know you're waiting for it. You're waiting for it, aren't you? You're waiting for it. <laughs> Maybe it works best with the glasses off. Hello. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, next up, we have uh, another of the Jack Ryan series. Yeah, we have Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. This time with Chris Pine and also Kevin Costner. And uh, Kira Knightley. I thought it was okay. I thought it was an okay film. Not one of the best Jack Ryan ones, but it was okay. Uh, Jojo Rabbit. Fantastic film. Fantastic film. Uh, shows you the other comical side of Hitler. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that in a conversation either. Yeah, great film. Also a bit sad in places as well. Uh, Robin Williams at his best in Jumanji. Great film. Fantastic film. Uh, CG's probably a little bit dated by now, but what can you do? Uh, and then we have like the reboot, which is Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah, really good. Enjoyed that film. Had fun with that. And then we have Jumanji The Next Level. I have not seen this one yet. Uh, I did enjoy the first film, you know, the, the first reboot. So I'm hoping that one's going to be just as good. Uh, then we have Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He gets everywhere these days. Yeah, in Jungle Cruise, based on uh, Disney's theme park ride. Uh, and I had fun with that one. I thought it was a good, fun adventure. Bit Romance in the Stony kind of thing. Uh, the Karate Kid, the original. Uh, fantastic film. Still waiting for the new Cobra Kai series. And uh, we have Peter Jackson's King Kong. 
uh, fresh off Lord of the Rings, he decided to go into doing King Kong. Uh, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Very visual. A visual treat. Uh, next up we have uh, a Ryan Johnson Who Done It. Yes, it is uh, Knives Out. Um, I think this was an HMV exclusive because uh, it comes with the uh, the 4K and then it comes with all the art cards and books and stuff like that. Good film, really good film. Then we have M. Night Shyamalan's Knock at the Cabin, which was a really good film. Uh, kind of feel, felt let down a little bit by the um, the twist at the end because we're, we're used to bigger twists with Shyamalan films but Dave Bautista was fantastic in that film Rupert Grint was great as well and then we have a bit of David Bowie in Jim Henson's Labyrinth haven't seen this one for a long time so it definitely needs a rewatch at some point and we have Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone in La La Land probably one of the only newest musicals i've still not yet seen so i need to catch up on that one at some point maybe around oscar time uh, and then we have the last night in soho which was really good i really enjoyed that uh thomason mckenzie uh who i believe was in old in uh, m night Shyamalan's old uh anya taylor joy uh, and it also had uh matt smith as well yeah really good film I think there was an HMV exclusive as well. I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, so that's that lot. Next lot. Uh, this was a fantastic film. This was kind of like a sleeper hit for me, at least. Life, yes. With uh, Ryan Reynolds, uh, is it, uh, Re Rebecca Ferguson and Jake Gyllenhaal uh, about this life form that they found on a meteor. And uh, it ha throws in vibes of like the original Alien and a bit of the thing in there as well. And there's some chilling scenes in that and a great ending. Fantastic ending. Uh, a bit of Sly Stallone now. Lock up. Yep. Uh, with Donald Sutherland as well. And uh, basically it's in a prison. Uh, Hugh Jackman in Logan. Amazing film. Daphne Keane, incredible. Wouldn't it be great if she actually turns up unannounced in Deadpool and Wolverine? Holy shit. Yes, because, I mean, she's... Of course, she's still acting because she was in the uh, the Golden Compass series. So, uh, you never know. They might be keeping that from us and she might just turn up. That would be brilliant. I think the, the audience would just go batshit crazy if she did. But uh, yeah, really good film. I love the ending of this with the turning of the uh, the cross. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, we have another version of Logan. Uh, I wanted this slip cover as well. Really nice glossy slip cover. So I've got two versions there. Uh, Lone Survivor. Great film. Mark Wahlberg. Good war film. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Lot of, well, for the audio. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. Next up, we have um, we have Looper. Yes, uh, this is a great film with Looper and jo uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I just realised uh, this is actually a steel book, uh, so it should be in my steel book section. So I might have to take that in there. Yeah, um, I didn't realise it's got one of those slip covers on it. Yeah, there we go. There's the there's the steel book. So yeah, I'll take that in the other room and put that in the in with the uh, the steel books. Uh, I car was kind of thrown and fooled by it because it looks like a normal slipcover. So I'll put that to one side. Uh, next up, we have the Lost Boys, a really great film. Uh, Kiefer Sutherland. Um, never too hot on that slipcover design. I could have used the original poster for it. What we've got next? Uh, next we have some fun with Sandra Bullock and Channon Tatum. And a spidgen, a little spidgen of Brad Pitt. And Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> yeah, The Lost City. That's a fun film. Fun comedy. 
Uh, oh, another film I haven't seen for quite a while. A Roland Emmerich film. Uh, Midway. Yes. Um, I do my, like my like aerial war films. Like aerial combat and that. Or Pearl Harbor as well. Yeah. I enjoyed that film. Um, yeah. Monster Hunter. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that one. And then what have we got? Oh, yes. Uh, we have Mortal Engines. Which I... There were mixed things about this back in the day. This includes the 4K, 3D and Blu-ray. I still haven't seen it. I still haven't seen this film. This is Peter Jackson, isn't it? I still need to get around to watching that film. And then we have the reboot of Mortal Kombat, which I really enjoyed. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the new film, whenever it's out. Moon. With Sam Rockwell, fantastic film. Uh, and then we have Jennifer Lawrence in Mother, uh, all about the earth and everything and nature. And it's a bit of a weird one. It's a bit of a weird one. And uh, we also have Murder on the Orient Express, the first film of the Poirots, uh, with uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, there's a whole host of people in here, Michelle Pfeiffer. And uh, Kenneth Branner, of course, and the lovely Daisy Ridley there. Yes. Yeah, I want all the other ones. I want all the other ones. Um, what's the third one? Oh, the third one. Second one I've got. I think I might have the second one in the slipcover. No, the second one I think I've got as a still book. I've got the second one as a still book. I want this one as a still book. Yeah. If I could find it anywhere. But the third one I don't think has been released on 4K. I think it's only been released on Blu-ray. Uh, Clint Eastwood, The Mule. And then we have The New Mutants. Um, the last 20 minutes was okay. <laughs> Probably the best review that that film's ever got. <laughs> the last 20 minutes was okay. Uh, Nightmare Alley. Uh, this is a, an Australian 4K edition. Uh, still haven't seen this film yet. And then we have uh, Jordan Peele's Nope, which is uh, a absolutely incredible film. One of the best science fiction films I've seen in recent years. Yeah, just thrilling. Absolutely love it. I watched it in IMAX, I think, three times. And the audio, holy shit, was just deafening. What we got next? Uh, next up, we have a bit of Bond in No Time to Die. Uh, now, a lot of people have problems with this, um, especially the ending. I actually thought it was quite fitting. It was kind of like sending Daniel Craig off. How else could they have done it? just end it abruptly you know with him sitting in a dinghy in the middle of the ocean with the woman like they did in all the other bond films very different bold attempt uh and it's a really emotional ending reduces me to tears every time yeah next up we have some tom cruise in oblivion uh again a really good science fiction film uh, and also morgan freeman is in that Oceans 8. This is the all-female Oceans film. I have not seen that. So that needs to watch. And then we have M. Night Shyamalan's Old. Uh, which in a way is kind of comical because of the characters. Um, I like the idea of it. The mystery of it and how it's executed. But the twist is a bit... Uh, it could have been a bit more haunting, a, a bit more chilling. Uh, then we have Nicole Kidman in The Others. Really good, creepy film. And the last one on this shelf is Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is a fantastic film uh, and definitely needs a rewatch. OK, so on to the next shelf. OK, so on to the fourth shelf. So let's begin. Uh, first of all, we have the outfit. Yeah, Mark Rylance. Uh, he's uh, like a, 
uh, a suit maker, but he gets involved in kind of like gang action. Yeah, uh, it's a good film. It's a good film. Pacific Rim Uprising. Uh, I actually still haven't seen this one yet. I've seen the first film. Really enjoyed it. I don't have the first one on 4K, I don't think. But uh, I need to watch the second one. Uh, and then we have the first of the Harrison Ford Jack Ryan films, which is Patriot Games. Sean Bean's in there. James Earl Jones. Uh, all set around like uh, uh, Irish the Irish kind of troubles that they had with the IRA and everything and uh, Jack Ryan interfering and killing Sean Bean's brother which you get my little brother <laughs> uh, next up we have Pet Cemetery. Uh, I actually thought this was okay this is the Jason Clark and uh, John Lithgow remake uh, I thought it was actually okay. It kind of like swapped the kids' gender out as well, which uh, was kind of interesting. Uh, and then we have Peter Rabbit. I know I've got a film with Bleeding... What's his name? Um, James Corden. Thankfully, it's only his voice. That's still annoying. Uh, next up, we have uh, Planes, Trains and Automobiles. Uh, wasn't too impressed with the 4K picture quality on this. To be honest, really isn't that much difference between this and the Blu-ray. Very surprised. Yeah. So if you've got the Blu-ray on that and you were wondering whether or not to upgrade to the 4K, I would probably just keep the Blu-ray. I don't think this offers anything extra. It does have never before seen deleted and extended scenes, but maybe they were already on the Blu-ray. I don't know. And uh, next up we have Pitch Black. Yes, this is uh, Vin Diesel. Uh, looking forward to the new one. Uh, apparently they are doing another one. Uh, that will be a fourth one, wouldn't it? I think. Pitch Black Chronicles of Riddick. Then it was then it was just Riddick, wasn't it? So it'd be the fourth one. Uh, again, another Christmas staple, the Polar Express, which I hear they are going to remake. I think it would look a lot better now. <laughs> yeah, because the uh, it's very dated. Unfortunately, it's not dated that well with the animation. Well, the animation's good. It's just the faces. Uh, Steven Spielberg presents the Poltergeist. Yes. Fantastic film. Absolutely brilliant. One of my childhood favourites. Uh, Schwarzenegger, Predator. Amazing film. The best Predator film. Even though a lot of people do prefer Predator 2. Can't be the first one. Uh, Predator 2. Yeah, still a good film. Bill Paxton's in this. Uh, I need to actually rewatch Predator 2. Haven't seen it in a long time. And uh, Predators as well. Yeah, really good. Uh, Adrian Brody. Um, I love to like the Predator dogs. Uh, yeah, these two were German imports, so I don't have any slipcovers for them. But I wanted them because they had the same type of artwork as the, you know, the first film. And then... Uh, Pray for the Devil, yeah, with Sister Pauline. <laughs> I'll probably save this one for Halloween. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, the Prestige, another Christopher Nolan film. Uh, there's actually two Christopher Nolan films that I have not seen. I know, I can't believe it. it this is one of them. And also the following, which I do own. So uh, I need to do a... Uh, a Nolan Marathon, I think. Uh, Prometheus. Love this film. This is incredible in 3D. Absolutely incredible in 3D. But the 4K pitch quality, again, is absolutely brilliant. Um, I don't have a slipcover for this, but I do have a different version of it. I think I have a still book and I have a limited edition as well. Uh, Pulp Fiction from Quentin Tarantino. Fantastic film. 
bloody awesome. So my, I think probably my second favourite Tarantino film. Maybe my second, second or third. I'm not sure. Uh, then we have Quantum of Solace. Um, good film. Had its troubles. Could have been better though. Uh, a Quiet Place. Yeah, brilliant film. And uh, looking forward to the new uh, prequel as well. And also a Quiet Place Part 3. Uh, we have Quiet Place Part 2. Brilliant as well. Really enjoyed that film. I love the beginning. Love the beginning where it shows you going back to day one with the arrival. And that's what we're going to get to see in day one in the new film. Uh, this is Rambo, Last Blood. Uh, I do love a good Rambo film. Um, I would say like the last half an hour <laughs> is a Rambo film. The beginning of it and the middle of it is kind of not. But yeah, um, it's still it's still good. It's still good and entertaining. Not as brutal as, as the previous one, though. <laughs> Uh, Dwayne Johnson is back. Dwayne the Johnson. Dwayne the Rock Johnson in Rampage. Uh, yeah, this is a fun film. Fun, the kind of like monster monkey film. And then we have Schwarzenegger in Raw Deal. Um, I don't remember too much about this. Ready Player One. Brilliant film. Uh, looks great in 4K, looks even better in 3D, especially the race at the beginning. But uh, yeah, really good film. Red Eye, Killian Murphy. This film is very short. It's about like 90 minutes or even less than 90 minutes. Uh, and the pitch quality is fantastic. The story is great. A bit more irony. In Red Heat with James Belushi. Really good film. Uh, and um, talking of Arnie. We have Red Sonja. With Bridget Nielsen as well. Um, I have no idea of this one. Yeah. Uh, I might have seen it back in the day when it first came out. But I have not seen it since. So that needs a watch. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence in Red Sparrow. That was a good film. Me, Lulu and Claire went to see that at the cinema. I think I also picked the steel book up for a really cheap price. I think it was like a fiver at Zavi. Uh, Hugh Jackman in Reminiscence. I've heard mixed things about this. It does look good. It looks kind of a bit of a sci-fi-ish thing. But uh, I need to check that one out. Uh, Angelina Jolie in Salt. Yeah, I always thought we'd get a sequel to this, but unfortunately it doesn't look like it's ever going to happen. But it's a good film. Sausage Party. <laughs> what can I say? It's just crazy. <laughs> uh, and then we have uh, Scarface, the gold edition. Do I have... No, I don't have the film vault version of Scarface. Uh, I actually haven't seen this. I have never seen Scarface. So uh, that's going to be a watch. Schindler's List. Brilliant film from Steven Spielberg. Love that cover with the nice gold foil there and the little girl with the red coat. Yeah, brilliant film. Haunting film. Uh, difficult to watch uh, certain scenes, but also Ray Fiennes, absolutely fantastic. And Ben Kingsley. So, yeah, amazing film. Scott Pilgrim versus the World. <laughs> uh, never seen this film. Um, looks fun, though. Uh, and then we have... Scream 6 with that limited edition HMV slipcover. And also comes with uh, the art cards as well. 
Serenity, which is basically the remake of Joss Whedon's Firefly. Uh, really good. And uh, no slipcover. Blake Lively in the Shadows. Uh, shadow, shadows. <laughs> what she replace? Hank Marvin. Yeah, no, she's in the Shallows. Yeah, uh, really good shark film. I would say second best shark film behind Jaws. And uh, Robert Downey Jr. there and Jude Law in Sherlock Holmes. Uh, this is from Guy Ritchie, I believe. I think this is from Guy Ritchie. Good film. I think there's a third film coming as well. Uh, and this is uh, A Game of Shadows. The Shining. I thought this was a great film. Really loved this film, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, Mark Wahlberg in Shooter. Really good film. Uh, this uh, actually became a TV series as, as well with Ryan Philippi or Philippe in the lead role. Uh, we have uh, Sicario, the double box set. So we have Sicario and Sicario 2. What's the second one called? Second one is called Soldana. Or was it Sultanas? Soldado, 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 something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Good films. Good films. I found that in CEX. I think that was quite cheap. Uh, and then we have Sisu, which was a really good film. Very good film. Yeah. Uh, just kill all the Nazis. Kill all the Nazis, I say. Uh, then we have Skyfall. Fantastic, but James Bond film. Um, this and. Casino Royale, I think my two favourite Daniel Craig movies. Skyfall is right up there amongst the best of the best. Javier Bardem was mesmerising in that. Uh, and then we have, not this bloke again, <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson, yeah. Skyscraper, which is basically Die Hard with The Rock. <laughs> okay, right, that is shelf four. So let's move on to the final and fifth shelf. Okay, so back for the last shelf. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, this is taking a little while, but uh, I'm glad that I've managed to keep it all into one video to keep you entertained rather than spreading it over like, I don't know, 50 weeks. <laughs> right, okay, let's start on the last bit then. Okay, so we have Smile. Yes, uh, I enjoyed this film for what it was. It could have been better. I think there might be a sequel, as far as I'm aware. This is an HMV exclusive. The one thing I have, though, is I was disappointed that the best jump scare in this, uh, they actually showed it in the trailer. So when it came to watching it in the film, you knew exactly what was coming. And sometimes that is why trailers don't work. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Smokey and the Bandit with Burt Reynolds. And then Snow White and the Huntsman. Uh, this is a slim case. This is a bit of a weird one. I don't know what on earth was going on with this. Because it's got some kind of weird plastic protector sheet over the slipcover. Yeah, it's weird. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, what was the purpose of it? I don't know. It's not metallic and it's not lenticular. It's just weird. Yeah, the film's okay. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which I have not yet seen. I better watch this one before the third one comes out. Uh, and I suppose I better watch this one before the TV series as well. And this is an HMV exclusive sleeve as well. Uh, and then we have Space Jam. Uh, Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan. <laughs> okay. Then what we got? Oh, then we got Spartacus. This is the original with Kurt Douglas. Uh, 60th anniversary edition. Have not seen this film. Uh, Spectre. Uh, yeah, it was an okay Bond film. It had these really good moments in it. Speed. Fantastic film with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock and 
Dennis Hopper, one of the best action films. Spiral, which is kind of like a spin-off of the Saw films. Um, yeah, I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was quite good. Starship Troopers, fantastic film. One of the best. It's up there with that. It's up there with Independence Day. One of the best alien space films. Uh, Some of All Fears, again, another Jack Ryan, this time with Ben Affleck. And then we have Super Mario Brothers. I need to watch this one. This is the Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Talk to Me, which apparently is a really good film. Uh, the Ten Commandments. I might have seen this way back in the day. Yeah, but I've never seen it as an adult. Uh, Titanic, yeah, uh, love this film. James Cameron's epic masterpiece and uh, holy crap in 4K with Dolby Atmos. Damn, so good. Uh, and then we have the Tomb Raiders, both the Tomb Raiders uh, with Angelina Jolie. And I found this in CEX for a good price. It's both on 4K there. And Alicia Vikander as Tomb Raider, which I really enjoyed. I thought it was a really good film. And uh, hopefully one day, probably not, there might be a sequel. Uh, Trading Places, brilliant film with uh, Eddie Murphy and uh, Dan Aykroyd. And uh, this was a... This was a Christmas present from Lulu and Claire. I'm just looking at the artwork. Something not quite right about that artwork. Their mouths. Their mouths are too big for their heads. It's just weird. It's freaky. <laughs> I suppose it was intentional. Uh, next up we have Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke in Training Day. I've heard this film's good. Oh. What we got next? Oh yes. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable, absolutely brilliant film. Second film, great performances there. And then we have Jordan Peele in Us, brilliant film, love that, absolutely love it. And then uh, National Lampoon's Vacation, which is the first, uh, the first of the vacant vacation ones, love that film. Uh, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets, a Luc Besson film. A uh, really good, stylish, kind of avatar-ish type of film. Uh, visuals are fantastic. Uh, it looks better in 3D. You get a really good depth in 3D. Uh, we have Van Helsing with Kate Beckinsale and Hugh uh, Jackman. This is a Stephen Summers film, so uh, I think he made this one after he made the Mummy movies. V for Vendetta, really good film there. Who doesn't want to see Parliament blown up? <laughs> Venom with Tom Hardy, really good, enjoyed that film. Tom Hardy's brilliant. Warcraft The Beginning, um, I found this just okay. Uh, it might need a rewatch. Yeah. Might need a rewatch. Uh, and now we have War of the Worlds and When Worlds Collide. Uh, I think, yeah, War of the Worlds is in 4K, but When Worlds Collide is only on Blu ray. But at least they're in uh, one double pack there. Spielberg's remake of War of the Worlds, really good with Tom Cruise. Uh, Kevin Costner in Waterworld. Um, how many cuts? This includes two cuts. The theatrical cut in 4K. Uh, 
extended cut with 40 additional minutes in HD. So it only includes the, only includes the theatrical cut in 4K. Uh, I do also have the other edition. Uh, I have the bigger Arrow box set that's got the Ulysses cut in it. Uh, Watchmen, brilliant film. Love this film. Zack Snyder. Excellent film. I still need to see the, the Watchmen TV series. I do own that, actually. Uh, Wayne's World, party on Garth. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not sure if Wayne's World 2 has been released in the UK on 4K. Did it come with a slipcover? Uh, West Side Story, really surprised by this. Uh, this is uh, Spielberg's uh, remake with uh, Rachel Ziegler, or Ziegler. Uh, really fantastic. Uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Love that film. Brilliant film. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder. The best Willy Wonka film. Totally. And then uh, The Wizard of Oz. Really good film. I enjoyed that. Looks fantastic in 4K. Uh, Wonder, really good. Julia Roberts, Owen Wilson and Jacob Tremblay. Yeah, brilliant film. I can't actually reach the others because I've only got a very small table here and, and they're tucked around the back. Triple <laughs> uh, X, The Return of Xander Cage. Um, I don't remember too much about this. Uh, I think I probably only bought it because it was really cheap. I probably picked it up for about a pound. 2012, another Roland Emmerich disaster movie. Yeah, really good. The 355, i uh, uh, not seen this. I don't believe I've seen this. It's kind of like, it looks like the Ocean's 8 version of action film. <laughs> And then we have 48 Hours with Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte. Another 48 Hours with the same people. The Fifth Wave with Chloe Grace Moretz. Uh, really enjoyed this film. It's a shame we never got any more because I think this is part of a book series. And we've got two left. We have Adam Driver in 65, which was OK. Uh, should have been more dinosaur action, though. And the last one is the BBC, A Perfect Planet. Yeah. Um, don't know why that's at the end of the numbers. Maybe that should have gone under A. Anyway, there you go. That's it. That is the 4K Amorays all done and all out of the way. Uh, I don't think I've missed anything. Because uh, like I say, I do have Amorays for other ones like Pixar's and Disney's and the MCU, DC and all that kind of stuff. And Star Trek. But they'll all come. And Star Wars. They'll all come under their own banners. Yeah, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share, and I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye-bye.